What's up guys and gals, Best Games here, and we're back with another random play, because I seem to be doing a lot of these lately. This one is on Cat Quest. Because... I want to. So, this game is a kind of simple hack and slash, got some stuff, explore the world kind of thing. I just took some damage. You. So, you start off as a cat. This is my cat. Well, this is the cat. Take off all the stuff. You can see his face. And he's your hero. He is the Dragonborn. Dragon something or other. Dragon something. Yeah, Dragonborn maybe. I don't fucking know. Um, the game is very, very repetitive, but very, very, very fun for me. And I can slash things, and then I get experience, and then everything on all the numbers go up. And going up is nice. So the main part of this game is to go around and do side quests and please all the kitties that are around you. So, a simple thing here. This is the starting area of the game. It's right over on this beach in Feline Guard. And you start over here, right off this thing. Ah, Dragon Blood. Sorry, Dragon Blood, not Dragonborn. Um, so you are one of the only people that still exist that can fight dragons, because that is your thing. You can talk to random townspeople, and this little zzz spot is where you heal and save. And pretty much every town has one of these. Every town also has a little quest board where you can take quests. I have done all of the quests here in Mew Town, which is right by the green fields. And then if you zoom out, you can see quite a bit more of landmass. Uh, I assume that there's some sort of boat or something that you can get. Um, also, off somewhere off to the side is... Oh, this is also the remnants of your ship, by the way, because uh, right there you were taken in by the evil guy who I don't know the name of and dude comes out of nowhere and says uh, hey, I'm gonna steal your sister and then this magical spiral symbol shows up on the back of your head and saves your life and then this little navi-like thing which I forget its name too, um, comes out of nowhere and says, Hey, you're the dragon blood. Cool, we haven't seen one of those in a bajillion years. And uh, yeah, then over here by the cat vittle, um, you have to say it right. It's very cat themed. So, you know, this is the cat pittle, not capital, cat pittle. Uh, get that shit straight, please. Thank you, my cat game. Um, so, this quest board, I've already done everything for the king and saved him, because the king is a lion. What's up? Cool, very informative, very cool, my dude. And, uh, really worried about the lupus empire again. Yeah, so apparently the other empire is the dogs. Now, in this game, you have magic. So, for me, I have three skills so far. The Flame Purr, the Light Neon, and the Healing Paw. No, why did I not equip that? Fuck me. Uh, I'll put that back. So the fire is... Wham! There's a fire. Lightning is that. And healing I can't really show off because uh, I don't need to heal, and also I just used all, that, all my MP. And healing takes up a shitload of MP. Getting your MP back is just swiping your sword at things, sword or weapon of choice. Uh, yeah, since I'm in the starting area, everything pretty much dies in one hit, because up in the left corner there, you see the level that you have, and 
I am level 23 cat fighter dragon blood thing. Anyway, I've just been kind of just really enjoying playing this game, so <laughs> I just figured I would show it off. I got it on sale on the Switch. This is the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. And I got it on sale for like five bucks. So, Kit's Cats. Kit Cats is your iron smithy place. This is Kit. Make sure you buy some gear, y'all. Uh. In here, you can roll for gear. You don't get to buy it. It's like a loot chest, but it's only 50 gold, and you're not paying real money. So, before y'all get all up in arms, I'll roll twice since I can. And pretty much, when you get a weapon, if you have that weapon already, it'll stack and level up that weapon instead of you having multiple copies of the same weapon. This one costs 5,000. I've never opened it before. Uh, moving on. So the arrow that's on the screen here is pointing me to a dragon fight, which I walked over to when I was like level 11. It was like, uh, you should probably go do some quests before fighting this because you're probably going to get bodied. And I said, oh, okay, I guess I'll do some quests. And I've been doing quests forever. Uh, wow, that's a high quest level. Quest level 30. Second day of Kittimus. Let's do it. No, I hit no, so whatever, we're not going to do it. Um, so yeah, I've been wandering around this world, fighting things here and there. You can go into each one of these ruins. Um, the gold item thing over it means that you need a key to unlock it. And I have no keys of said things. This is the Puss Plains and the Lakeside Hole. Haha, <laughs> hole. And we roll, and we kill these motherfuckers. Um, when the enemies attack, it shows you a way to, shows you when you should dodge roll out of the way, which dodging is your you know, B button on switch. So when it gets red, when it's fully red, you want to roll out of the way. But again, these things are so low level that I can just kind of kill them without trying. Um, what's on this quest board? The Sacrifice. Sure, so let's do a quest. There's another chart, and this one seems different. So, when this game wants you to go somewhere, it pretty much holds you by the hand to go there, which is fine by me. I don't have to think too much. You're that bush. Okay, first we're gonna kill you, and you're gonna fight me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bitch. I'm gonna heal here because I don't give a shit about that person being, you know, hurt or anything. This is Twin Peaks, huh? Uh, what's in here? Oh, monsters! Let's fight them! Because we're next. Okay. So, just to divert here. Meow! This is a really tall mountain. Hey, let's zoom out and see what it looks like. And then you can zoom out and you see that it's a giant cat. Penis. With a cat face. Oh, I'm almost level 23. Oh no. Body some shit soon. I mean 24. Okay. Glad I didn't get hurt for that because I was real pissed. So that wouldn't have been fair. Oh! Leveled up. I'm level 24, I'm the best. Let's walk over to this thing. Let's set off some monsters. Nope, no monsters this time. Oh, I haven't walked up this far yet. Lord's Watch. Ah, Dragon Blood. Monsters get stronger the further north you go. Yeah, thanks. I already kind of figured that out. Now that you're telling me. Appreciate it. Oh boy. Yes, you just take some hints. monument. So, I've been interacting with each one of the monuments. I don't know what they do. They just have a description of something about the old masters or dragon blood or kings or something. I don't know, I'm not really paying too much attention to it, but, you know, they're there. Um, oh, this guy has a boss tag next to him. I was like, you're so weak. So 
fire does damage. Which is a fun fact. And also these little signs that have the these things, it's telling you to get the fuck away because these are the forbidden fields. And uh, those are not for your normal kitties to go into. Hey, it's the mage. Can't fight him. Ho oh, 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 ho oh. ho! Whoa! You don't need to be reaching everything under the sun, my dude. Chill. Give me that XP. Mewlin. <laughs> So I got 3,000 XP for that, and I'm actually kind of by the dragon to fight. I'm not going to go into the ruins, because pretty much a side quest will help me through each one of those. So eventually I'll hit a side quest that'll tell me to do that. I could probably take on the main quest now. Probably. Hilly Hills, because we couldn't come up with anything more creative. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling you out. It's fine. I can't come up with anything more creative either. Creatively bankrupt soul. Hidden Cave. Wow. Well, level 9 in. Oh, hoo -hoo. okay. Yeah, we're not gonna even fuck with that. Not really hidden, but I ain't fucking with that. Um, let's see if we can take on this dragon. Actually, you know what? Before I do, first off, I'm gonna kill you. Now we're gonna roll over to the town here. Grab that one money. And we're gonna sweep. Alright, now. Let's go see what this dragon can. Be my dude, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Alright! Wham! Oh, he's gonna be. Oh, that did nothing! I think I over leveled on this guy. Bad! I think when he told me to go over the level, I uh, did it. Quest complete. Oh, look, it's his sister, the thing that the person that we're trying to save this whole time. Hang on, let me go look at this monument. Dragon blood were the sole reason for the dragon's defeat. The dragon war met its end soon after. Also, that just says unknown. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's go see the sister. Oh, disappearing. We got some magic afoot. Oh, it's the evil guy. So the next dragon's on water. Ah, Drakoth. That's his name. Wouldn't have remembered that. He'll lead us straight to your sister. Okay, let's follow his trail. Ooh, ooh, you're, you're, you're feisty there. Fairy cat navy thing. It is also a cat if you did not notice. Just an FYI. Anyways. I'm not going to try and spoil the game for you or anything, but fighting the second, the third to last dragon, I guess, isn't really spoiling anything. So we're going to run around the Forbidden Fields. Oh no, he wants us to go into the Forbidden Fields. Oh, oh no, whatever will we do? Oh, let's beat up these things 
first. Bang! Save. Let's go. I don't actually know if this is optimal or not. Let's go fight me, kid. Oh wow, he is strong. Uh, yeah, that's kind of busted. You're kind of busted. Fuck that. I'm out. All right, so I need stronger shit. Okay, so that's what happens if you're walking in the Forbidden Fields. Alright, well with that, I think I've given you a good idea of what this game is. Um, I'm going to explore more and play more for myself because, well, that's what I want to do. And, uh, yeah, if you guys potentially want to see this as a kind of a playthrough kind of thing, just leave a comment. And with that, I'm out. See you next time.